Everyone's got an opinion on hypnotherapy, but it's not just used for breaking bad habits anymore. Dr. Vincent's clients come to him to realize their potential to its fullest. Californians are all about finding their zen. At West Coast Hypnotherapy, Dr. Vincent makes sure you find what you're looking for and that you don't lose it again. Hypnosis is a positive and healthy way to help you dive through the subconscious mind using all positive suggestions to work and to achieve your goal. And it's very safe and anytime you feel like coming out of hypnosis, you can. You can just open your eyes. Hey, buddy, how you doing? Good, you? Good, good, nice seeing you. How you been? Doing really good, thank you. Cool. What I do is I talk to the client, I talk about their issues, what they came in to see me for, and under hypnosis, I guide them into a safe and positive way to help them change your behavior. So, um, how have you been feeling? What's going on? Yeah, phantom pain's been acting up a bit, you know, so it's kind of helping you to help me out with that. When you're born with two arms or two legs and, and you lose a limb, I lost my leg to cancer at 11, my brain still has the, the nerve endings from my left leg. It flares up and asks, you know, my brain asks my body why I haven't used my left leg lately. He goes, well, because it's not there, silly. He goes, oh, no, no, no. Remember when you stepped on a nail when you were eight? And it recalls that. Today, working with Eddie McGee, he did get in touch with some things, I think, before that he hadn't gotten in touch with in his life. And um, even during some of it, um, I almost got choked up. And now, Eddie, you're at this relaxing, beautiful beach. And as you're laying there relaxing, you see this 11-year-old kid with dark hair. And as he's coming closer to you, he wants to show you a little piece of treasure he found. When I'm under, I, uh, I, I can hear his voice, but the, but the outside world is kind of absent to me. Uh, I can't speak for anyone else, but for me, everything else pretty much melts away. Eddie comes in with me, and we work a lot with also his audition process and relaxing him through, especially big auditions, like the one he just recently got. You got a new role coming up, right? Yeah, yeah, I just booked a picture in New York. Yeah, super excited about it. I leave Monday. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So I just booked this uh, this big film back in New York with Philip Seymour Hoffman and John Totoro, and John Slattery directing, which I'm super excited about. And uh, I leave Monday, so I leave in two days, and I just wanted to come in and see Eddie and get in a relaxing session, and uh, it'll help me prepare, and I'll take some of the techniques, you know, that he's showed me the past few months and, and today, and hopefully it'll help me relax and be prepared and, and knock this role out of the park. A lot of celebrities can use this in a lot of ways. Whether you're a sports player like Tiger Woods has used it. He used it since he was 10 years old to help refocus himself and kind of block out the crowd. Phil Jackson has used it. A lot of actors have used it to refocus themselves. Uh, ben Affleck has used it for non-smoking. Aston Kusher to refocus himself and non-smoking. Jessica Alba has used it for pregnancy. Even uh, writers and musicians just to get rid of that writer's block. Now I just wanted to put your hands straight out like this. I'll hold them out for you. Okay, good. All right, so right here, okay? I'm gonna put my hand right in the middle, and as soon as your hands touch my hand, you'll go into a heavy, deep sleep, all right? Good, and deep sleep, Diana. It was great to work with Diana today for her portion control issues, and try to just be able to eat just a little bit and be satisfied with that and be happy with that. I do just want you to open your eyes. You pull a little piece out, one of your favorite pieces, mm. either one you like. Mm. It's all fresh. When I determine whether they're left or right brain, it helps me determine whether they're an introvert or an extrovert, and that helps me out through their session with the hypnosis process. Someone who's more introvert, I have to be very direct and to the point. No, you refuse to eat this extra sweet. You refuse to do that. That's how you work with them. This is gonna help you relax as well every time you do feel like smoking. So I just want you to write down just, you know, some of the reasons, you know, that you do wanna quit smoking. Okay. Instead of having your cigarettes, you can actually have this in your pocket. You know, maybe like you would, like your cigarettes, your back pocket. And you can look at, look up this and be out there and even hold this. You know, hold a straw or just even hold your fingers and do your breathing and go through this. Okay. Okay, this will help you out a lot. Okay. Okay, wonderful. This is right here for you. I work in a jazz club where I deal with a lot of famous musicians. Sessions that I have with Eddie help me keep focused on main goal, you know, make people happy, be there for them, you know, and it makes a better show. This is your um, your personal folder to quit smoking? Okay. Okay. So anytime you do see the color red, it's just a signal for you to say stop. So I just want you to put your name there and you can put the date. Okay. And then I'll sign as a witness there. Good. And of course, like anytime you do see that color red, whether it's a stop sign, mm -hmm. uh, nail polish, or uh, tail lights, it's just an indication for you to say stop, okay? Okay. Wonderful. 
I'm excited, actually. I'm very happy for you. Have you had a, did you have a cigarette today? Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. Do you have your cigarettes with you right now? No. All right, good. I decided to become a hypnotherapist when I was around 39. And what I did, I actually got hypnotized for the first time myself. And I've never been so focused in my life and felt so positive. And then I found that I can actually do this and help people. And when I did, I signed up. So because of the way that hypnosis worked for me, I felt that I can share that with other people. So regardless of the issue, I feel hypnotherapy can work for anyone. When we come back, get the inside scoop on the drink that the stars just can't get enough of.